Donald Trump's new Secretary of Labor pick is Alex Acosta. And we learned from the president today, no relation to Jim Acosta from CNN, although there was a little bit of vetting on that front. It is his second choice after Andy Puzder withdrew consideration from the office. Earlier today, the president was fulsome. That's right, fulsome regarding Acosta's credentials. He has a law degree from Harvard Law School. He's a great student. Former clerk for Justice Samuel Alito. And uh, he has had a tremendous career. Tremendous. All right. Well, that sounds pretty good. But what exactly does the Labor Secretary do? For that, we turn to bewitching economist savant Brian Brenberg, an associate professor of economics at King's College here in New York City. Brianomics, let's do this. So uh, I looked at what the labor secretary is yeah. supposed to do. Uh, mediate labor disputes? No. Uh, not the function of government. Advise on legislation and create new regulations? No, not necessary. And no, certainly we don't need more regulations. Uh, pass overtime rules? Nope. Uh, Obama administration did that. And testify before Congress? I just wrote, dumb. <laughs> So, so we don't even need I think a labor secretary. We don't need a labor department. We don't anymore. need a labor well, department I, or a labor secretary. Look, I think a lot of skeptics will say if you really want to improve the conditions of workers in this country, grow the economy because when they have opportunities to take other jobs, when employers are demanding labor, then you're going to see wages rise. Then yeah. you're going to see conditions get better. So I agree with you. We should be very skeptical about what the labor department does. Period. I don't think it's going to go away under this administration, which means we should be talking about what the labor secretary can do and what Acosta might be able to yeah, do. Yeah, and it's, it's very alluring to look back at Puzder and say what went wrong. But you yeah. know what? It doesn't matter because he withdrew his name from consideration. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now we have Alexander Acosta to look forward to. But he's got a, a legal background. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this, this guy is a, a lawyer who's held a lot of governmental jobs. Yeah. How could that possibly be good for a labor well, secretary? Well, I'm going to dwell on Puzder again just for a second because I, I think it really is a shame that we lost someone with his background. He is a business guy. And better than that, he understands the fundamental dynam dynamic in our economy, and that is technical automation is moving workers out of jobs. He gets that. Yeah. And so that means he understands why things like the minimum wage increase or overtime pay rules are actually bad for workers because it pushes them out of work. It encourages employers to automate the work that they yeah. do. He got that. I like a business person in that role. My concern about Acosta, he may be a great guy, very competent guy. He doesn't bring that background to the role. Is he going to be able to shake up the Labor Department the way we need it to be shaken up? Yeah. And I just don't know if he's going to be able to do that. He's a technocrat. Yeah. He's worked in the bureaucracy, but we don't need more bureaucrats. No, and it's unfortunate because oftentimes people who don't have totally substantial backgrounds in politics get consumed yeah. by the bureaucracies yeah. that they run. And it also, you know, if you don't have that implicit passion for business that someone who's created a business yeah. has, uh, then I worry that that won't be his sort of guiding light instead of principle. Well, and a passion for shaking this thing up. I mean, the Labor Department has 17,000 employees in a $12 billion budget. It is a regulation factory. It just makes regulation, makes regulation, and that makes things so hard for businesses. I think Puzder had the opportunity to really kind of blow it up a little bit yeah. and, and free things up for businesses and for workers. Again, Acosta brings a lawyer's background. He won't be eaten up by the system. He'll be able to navigate it just fine. But in four years, will we see any real difference? Or will it still be a regulatory factory? I mean, yeah. if it is, that's bad for the U.S., that's bad for workers. And I hope that's not, I hope the president isn't just aiming for an easy confirmation here to get it out of the headlines. I hope he's actually thinking about making changes in the department. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, perhaps this wasn't the one nominee that they thought would get turfed. Yeah. You know, with, with Betsy DeVos, you assumed that uh, since you had Republican support peeling off, that, that it was that she was going to be the sacrificial yeah. cabinet lamb. But in fact, it wasn't her. It was Puzder. No, and, and the other problem with that is Puzder was a real free market voice yeah. in the Trump administration. And free market and free trade. And free and more important, free trade. Yeah. And that's really what's lacking there. And so I was actually optimistic about Puzder. Again, Acosta, not an economics background. I don't know what kind of voice he's going to have there. And I think on net, that's another bad for the administration. So again, I'm hoping for better things out of him that I'm saying here right now, but he just doesn't have the same profile that Puzder had, and I think that's a shame. I think he's already disappointed you. I try that, not I to, can't I try stand to be, Brandberg. I try, I'm always looking out for you. I try to be an optimist here, but I just uh, this, this one is not as exciting to me as the Puzder. No, was. it's not, but you know, as a country, we must move forward, hope yeah. for the best, and hope that the, the lack of regulations will create yeah. the right environment. Look, and I wish him well, and I hope he does a push. great job, and I, he could. He very yeah. well could. That sounds like something you say yeah. to your ex when they get married. <laughs> I really hope it goes well Stay for you. Away from that. All right, very good. Brian Brenberg, thank you so much.